Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue the remaining portion of nucleic acids uh, with the heading Structural Organization of tRNA and microRNA. Um, RNAs are of different types, and uh, among the different types, there are three general forms are there. They are rRNA. tRNA and mRNA R stands for ribosome T4 transfer and M4 messenger RNA um, today we are going to learn about transfer RNA or tRNA or soluble RNA what about its nature it is the smallest polymer form of RNA um regarding the abundance about 15 percentage of total rna of the cell is tRNA what is the function of this tRNA function is to carry activated amino acid to specific site in protein synthesizing template What does that means? It means, ah, uh, it carries. Now suppose this is the mRNA, mRNA messenger RNA, and uh, it contains codon. Codon, we know, it is a combination of three nucleo. Types and uh, each nucleotide contain uh, one base each. So that sequence of bases in another form we can call it as codon. So with re uh, respect to each codon, a corresponding amino acid need to be carried to this region. This transport is done by tRNA, and that amino acid that is ready to transfer is activated amino acid. Similarly, the amino acid that is attached to tRNA is called activated amino acid. So now I am going to show you uh, what is the process of this. activation amino acid activation amino acid activation uh, it is an attachment of an amino acid to transfer rna um, first you look in this picture this is an ense what is its name this tRNA activating ense to the sense in what is first approaching one atp molecule where one atp molecule is approaching and it is go and bind this site and then what came then an another amino acid is coming and binding to this site uh and this Binding of amino acid is highly specific. A particular amino acid only binds this uh, particular uh, specific site of this tRNA activating enzyme. No other amino acid can't <coughs> bind to this site. After binding with the enzyme, two phosphate is loses from the ATP and form what amino acid. AMP complex. Amino acid is there and AMP is there. Amino acid AMP complex is formed there. And uh, with regard to this amino acid, a specific tRNA then approach this complex and come and bind to this site. It's binding and also it bind with this amino acid. 
TRNA bound to the amino acid and this AMB is released. And then what happened uh, is perfectly that particular amino acid is bound to that TRNA and that TRNA bound with the amino acid is released. It is the charged TRNA or um, amino acyl TRNA. We can call this amino acyl TRNA. Simply the TRNA that is attached with its corresponding uh, with its corresponding amino acid. The process of amino acid activation. Um, I think it's very clear to you. We will cover this uh, description also. So, um, two steps. Amino acid commits with the ATP for amino acid uh, AMP complex. Two phosphate groups are releasing. Then amino acid AMP complex combines with the tRNA form amino acid tRNA and release AMP. That is the activation of amino acid. I think it's very clear. Next, uh, what about the number? Number of uh, tRNA in in our uh, in, the, uh, in the in a cell. Uh, more than 20 amino acids are present. More what? Why we are telling us more than 20? Because we know that uh, there is 20 amino acids only are uh, present or, or available to uh, synthesis all the type of proteins. Different combination different combination of this 20 amino acid gives different types of proteins. So, it's very clear that uh, there should be, there will be a minimum of 20 amino acid. And it is not mentioning that the number is restricted to 20 instead is more than 20 and uh, that it is clearly mean that at least one tRNA should be there for each amino acid. Um, regarding the codon, I explained you very simply and regarding that codon, um, this uh, it, is, it is not uh, um, the actual thing that only one codon for one amino acid. Instead, more than one codon, sorry, one codon is there for one amino acid. Uh, this phenomenon is called a degeneracy of codon. Degenerate codon, or other is called degenerate codon. What it mean? Because codon, we know, uh, three bases, three nucleotides. U U C. Suppose U U C uh, represent a particular amino acid. In this codon, the first two bases are important. Third one is not at all important. So look, U U A A also. This codon also course for the same amino acid. Then U, U, T. This also code for similar acid. Uh, then uh, again U, U, U. This also codes for similar acid. There is, that means that more than one codons are there for particular amino acid. This is a degeneracy or degenerate codon. So for carrying all these codons there should be tRNA. That is why the tRNA's number should be more than 20. Okay. I, I will show you a table for this. Uh, this is a table. Uh, phen uh, phenylalanine is uh, leucine serine. Um, so many amino acids are mentioned here. And all these three codons are uh, four. 
the same amino acid and this 4 1 look what the peculiarity of 4 carbon first two letters are same here also like that that is a degeneracy of the codon. Then we are going to see what is ISO acceptor tRNA. ISO, ISO, it's already, I know, uh, just uh, now only I explained the, um, what is uh, this ISO accepting nature of tRNA. Several tRNA are specific for same amino acid. They differ in their nucleotide sequence. These different tRNA, uh, they differ in their nucleotide sequence. Um, and uh, all these tRNA can have same or different anticodons. What is anticodons? Anticodons means, I will show you. Anticodons means, uh, it's a Codon corresponding to the codon present in mRNA. What is anticodon? So, this codon that is present in tRNA we can call this anticodon. Uh, this codon, this anticodon is complementary to that codon that is present in mRNA. So, it is called anticodon. It is regarding the specificity. One tRNA is specific for one amino acid. For example, tRNA serine is designed for amino acid serine. Then coming to stability. Pro Prokaryotes. In prokaryotes, the tRNAs are more stable than uh, that in eukaryotes. And coming to the structure. Discovered by Robert W. Holley et al. Et al. means his co-workers took the, they discover the uh, structure of tRNA. They discover the structure of which tRNA, tRNA specific for alanine. And uh, the structure that he described is a secondary structure of alanyl tRNA. Coming to the features. It contains 77. All together, this, uh, all together, this tRNA contains how many nucleotide, ribonucleotides? 77 ribonucleotides. And this 77 uh, ribonucleotides includes some unusual Bases along with the, uh, its number also given here. Unusual bases are, are ten. Unusual unusual bases are there, and uh, what was the number of uh, adenine, uh, uracil, guanine, and cytosine? Eight adenine is there. Eleven uracil is there. Twenty five guanine is there, and twenty three cytosines are there. Unusual nucleosides means uh, to the normal nucleosides some modification, some addition of some other groups happen. And results in inosine, ribothymidine, dihydrouridine, uh, then uh, zeudouridine, and the methylated derivatives of inosine and guanosine. This unusual basis also include in this 77 ribonucleotides. Molecular weight is 26,000 Dalton. Then regarding the 5 dash terminal and the 3 dash terminal. 5 dash terminal, you look at this phosphorylated. 3 dash has a free OH group. Uh, then to this adenine, adenosine base, it is a, to the, in the 3 dash terminal, it is connecting with the, it is attaching with its corresponding amino acid. That's the importance of that 3 dash terminal. And this is the anticodon sequence. The sequence present here is anticodon. And um, this one, only with this, the tRNA can bind with the mRNA codon. mRNA codon. Next step. Common structural features. Structure. 
consists of three folds. Three folds. I will show you which are the three folds. One, two, three. Three folds into give a clover leaf like a uh, structure. Clover leaf like a structure. Uh, then longer tiarne has a short fifth arm. This is the uh, short fifth arm. Then number of ribonucleotides uh, may be it may, may vary from 73 to 93 ribonucleotides. The molecular weight range in this between 24,000 to 31,000. Um, mitochondria DNAs are my mitochondria also DNAs are present. They are much smaller when compared to the cellular DNA. Then modified bases regarding the modified bases. 7 to 15 unusual modified bases are present and uh, what modifications are happened they are may be methylated or demethylated derivatives of adenosine uracil ganin and cytosine examples of unusual modified bases they are pseudouridine various methylated adenines and guanines then methylated pyrimidines are there uh, the pyrimidines like thymine uh, then also 5 methyl cytosine and other type. These are the modified unusual bases. Uh, and these uh, all bases all together not present in same TRNA. But the number of pseudo uridine is more. It is more abundant. It is, uh, unanim it is uh, uh, commonly present in all types of TRNA. Pseudo uridine. What is the uh, role of this modification? What is the significance? The methylation prevents the formation of certain base space. Uh, look here in this structure. I will take another uh, color. Okay. Yeah, look in this structure. Uh, here, the base space we can see. Uh, base space are present here. Here also base space, base pairing, base pairing is there. But it is absent in all the uh, locations where this methylated or modified bases present. So that's the significance. Without uh, forming base pairing, it can uh, keep this region free to some other functions. That is the uh, significance, one significance of methylation, significance of methylation. Uh, next, uh, I is explaining, this explaining, methylation gives hydrophobic nature to some portions of DNA and is important for its interaction with the many synthetases and ribosomal proteins necessary for, necessary for translation, translation of mRNA. Then regarding 5 dash and 3 dash, you can take the red thing itself. Hmm. 5 dash and 3 dash end. Uh, regarding the 5 dash end and uh, 3 dash end, it is, uh, it is a phosphor related. We can see that it is phosphor related 5 dash end. Then what about 3 dash end? 3 dash end is having a hydroxyl uh, group and uh, this sequence at 3 dash end. It is, um, is common. So um, almost um, this ACC sequence is present in almost all tRNAs. And uh, the adenine of this sequence is usually bind with the amino acid. Hmm. Next, uh, base pair. Regarding the base pairing, 50% of nucleotides are uh, base paired. Okay. Five groups of bases are not base paired. I already told you that. Five groups of uh, bases are not base paired. Um, of this 
four groups form loops. One, two, three, four. Four are loops. One is not a loop. It's free. Five groups. Which are the five groups? Three dash null. Three dash. Um, five groups means that uh, not regions that is not base pair. Which are the regions? One is the three dash terminal end. Next, uh, the ribosome, uh, the ribo ribothymine pseudo uracil region. Uh, next one, the extra extra arm. Then uh, the DHU region. That is the DHU D arm. Then the last one is the anticodon. Those are the five groups that are not involved in base pairing. One, two, three, four, five. Recognition size and all these five area. Uh, no, not five. Um, actually, four. One, two, three, four. Census. Sorry, four, four. One, two, three, four. These four lobes are actually the recognition size in tRNA. And each tRNA should have at least, at least uh, two recognition sites. And uh, which are those two uh, sites that, is, that should be present? Uh, they are, I will show you, amino acyl tRNA, amino acyl uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> once more, yeah, two recognition sites is very necessary uh, to, to be present in a tRNA. And uh, among the two, one is one for, one, uh, is for uh, uh, binding with the amino acid. This is for activated amino acid. So, one recognition site is meant for binding with the Activated amino acid that is bound with the NC complex. And the another second one, second recognition site is to bind with the codon on the mRNA, that is the anti codon uh, loop. The unique similarity among tRNA, uh, among these different types of tRNA, one thing is common. What is the, uh, that, uh, that particular thing? The distance, distance from uh, this CCA end to the anticodon end. This distance is same, is constant, constant in all tRNA. It is constant. Okay. Next year. Tertiary structure of tRNA. Uh, we know that primary structure means uh, it is only the extended uh, um, what uh, polynucleotide chain. Uh, secondary may sorry. Secondary structure means it is again folding back. Then tertiary means this folded structure again folding to give tertiary. So we are going to see the tertiary structure of tRNA. Who elicited? Alexander Rich and Adon Klung in 1960. And they elucidated the tertiary structure of phenylalanine accepting tRNA from yeast. Structure is given here and this, is, this one is a secondary structure and this secondary structure again undergoes folding to form this tertiary structure. But regarding its features, shape is L shape. There are the segments, two segments are there, two double helix. Uh, this is one helix, this one is one helix, and this is another helix, two segments are there. And in each helix, how many base pairs are present? Ten base pairs are present in each helix. 
and uh, one segment is one turn. In the last class, I already explained what is one turn. It moves one, it starts from one uh, major groove to next major groove or one from, uh, from start from one minor groove to another a second uh, minor groove. So this is one turn and here in this segment also we can see start from one major groove to uh, the next major groove. So these two segments represents uh, each uh, represents one turn each. Okay, and also these two segments are perpendicular. So position, look, one is, one is lying in this way and the other is in this way, it's perpendicular. Then CCA terminus, CCA terminus at one end, at one end, that the CCA terminal end is present, that's the three dash end. And the anticodon end is present in the, and, uh, the next step end of the other segment. Uh, then the DHU and TCC uh, loop is located in this corner. And regarding the interaction, in what way the CCA terminal is interacting with uh, the other segments? No, not a strong, no strong interaction. Uh, because at the time uh, this tRNA, tRNA is uh, bind with its corresponding amino acid, it undergoes many conformational changes. So for undergoing, for the purpose of, for the need of undergoing that conformational changes, it can't uh, stay with the strong interaction with the other so, okay, with this we finish the structural organization of TRNA and today's class. Thank you.